Hi guys, welcome back to HHG Studios. Today we're going to be looking at choosing paint colors for our homes. Recently, I had a conversation with Kenneth Richardson of Sherwin-Williams on their color conversation series. Today, we're going to share with you some excerpts from that conversation, as well as some additional details. We hope you find it useful. Hello, so good afternoon. And we are here again after last week. And mothers, I really hope you had a really, 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 really good day. My mom did. Well, I, at least I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, had to cook and all of those things. And you know Wonderful. what I mean? So, Faye, you don't think I can cook, Faye? Yeah, man, I believe. You believe I can yeah, cook? Yeah, man. But Faye, you say, you say, you say. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe you can. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, we well, all should be able to cook. Exactly. I mean, we can't eat and can't cook. That don't that make is, sense. Yeah, that, that, that <laughs> don't make sense. You know what I mean? And all this blind dry food all the time. <laughs> right? No, that don't make sense. Yeah, man. <laughs> so as we did promise you, we are here again in another of the series, Color Conversations with Sherwin Williams. And as we told you last week, we have with us here an interior designer, right? Faye. We just normally say Faye, but Faye went. Yeah. And she is fine. she is an interior designer of what, what what do you call it now when it's want to say that it is like of, <laughs> of repute of <laughs> she is well known. She is very good at what she does. I've worked she with loves Faye. what she does. Faye, how long how long are we working together? It's a long time, you know. Long it's time me you trying to find out. Well, I was trying to make a calculation, but <laughs> yeah, it's a long time. A long time. I've been, yeah. In it's fact, you brought me over to Sharon Williams. Wow. wow. <laughs> because I you did were, that. yeah. Wow. Thanks, you. Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. how long are you in interior design, though? Know? You know, it's almost thirty years. Wow. Yeah. So, I I went into interior design. When I said I was, I was going to, when I studied interior design and I came back to Jamaica and I said, I'm going to be doing interior design, um, people would say, who going to employ you? Yes, exactly. What kind of thing is that? And um, I said, I will let them know they need me. Yes, definitely. And it has turned out very well. So you say you studied overseas. Where did you study? At school for interior design in Miami. Uh -huh. oh. That was a long time now. I don't want to go into that. I don't even look so long. You know, if you're going after looks, you know, I don't know if it's color. Maybe, maybe color have to keep you youthful. I don't know. Oh, I love colors. Yeah? I love colors. I don't know if I have a favorite color because mm -hmm. I just love working with colors. Mm -hmm. What I find though is persons generally, I think Caribbean people and Jamaicans in particular love colors. Yes, we do. But we have to be careful how we use them. Sometimes we go overboard, yes, especially in using colors in their very strong form. Mm -hmm. You'll pass a house that's painted in an orange and you almost have to shade your eyes mm -hmm. to look at it. Mm -hmm. We have to be more careful in terms of using more the the colors that are not as sharp yes right yes. not too not too vibrant and jumping yes at you. not yes. jumping at you but, but talking to you ah, and I welcoming you and there are times when you need to have colors that whisper and you can have colors that shout but they must be used in limited form oh, oh, hold on hold on <laughs> i'm learning something here now you have colors that and yes. colors that shout. You, know, you, say, you don't want it to jump at you. You want it to be inviting. Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's that's interesting. You know, as I said, I think I remember this customer calling us, calling uh -huh. us once. So she said that I live in a white house. You could always, you could almost say I live in the white house. Yes. Because all these years, my house is white. Yes. And there no, are I'm, people who love white. A person who maybe love white, but they said that I want to. I see Sherwin. I'm talking about, you know 
color of the year and so forth. And I uh-huh. want to move a little bit from white or from just one one color that looks. Yes. You know, I just I don't always want to be like a film green. I want to go mm-hmm. something. A little bit and more sometimes vibrant. people are a little fearful. How do you help them though? You know, you spoke about your colors of the year and I was looking at them mm-hmm. and every year, you know, there are colors of the year yes, and yes. it doesn't just apply to paint colors. Mm-hmm. It's car colors, clothes colors, all of those colors okay. are usually very available in the stores mm-hmm. because they're the colors of the year. So it's the colors of the year that your your chart with your colors is a good guide because people can look at those colors and see what appeals to them right and start from there okay no nobody paints every year or i don't know anybody who paints every year (laughs) (laughs) so it's important that you choose colors that you love Mm -hmm. so while i'm not the, it's a guide. Yes. I don't think you should say, well, these are the colors for 2021, mm-hmm. so I must use them. Right. See what, how that will guide you in choosing colors that you love. So, when you walk into your house or in your rooms, it must be a, something that welcomes you. So you're saying the person want to change, they want to go in something more trendy. Yes. So they draw for the Sherwin Williams colors of the year mm-hmm. and see out of these colors, which of them appeals to my personality right right it must be and based on that i can now go and paint but suppose <laughs> the individual you know is very outgoing yes right they're not an introvert like myself you are uh, <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> they're more very extroverted very outgoing. they're gonna go for brighter colors they're gonna go for brighter yes colors. um personalities will determine the colors you choose but does it mm-hmm. always work in your space? That's the question now. If you love it, it works. Mm-hmm. What is important is that you do good combinations. And that's like where that. people sometimes have difficulties. Like but then because you have this chart yes. here, for example, you have shades on each right. one. So it shows what colors you can put together mm-hmm. using a chart. Or if you go online, you can find the color wheel. Yes. And you know the color wheel tells you what colors opposite on the wheel or right. side by side on right. the wheel. And that's a good way for mm-hmm. persons to just go on, look up the color wheel on, um, on online. online and work from that. What about like, so for instance, I'm yeah. seeing all this beautiful cushion. Cushion, right? yeah. And we're seeing a number of different colors working yes. here. How can a consumer take this cushion and do they transfer all the colors onto their wall? Oh no. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't do that. No, so, it's not going to be a comfortable space if you do too okay, many colors. Exactly. So what you do is you pick a color from the cushion. Or it can be from a tie, or it can be from a piece of fabric. Right. And you pick one color, and usually the color that is least in the fabric say in the upholstery right is what you put on the wall say that one more time say for example you um you don't want to take all right look at this fabric yes this fabric this is very bright yes. the fuchsia the blue is very strong yes. assuming this was a, a, a upholstery fabric yes. most people not using this as upholstery anymore that kind of floral right. thing but say you chose this color. Is that the gold there? Yes, oh, for the wall. Okay. Don't go for, because if you choose this dominant color in the fabric mm-hmm. and put it on the wall, then it becomes too intense in the room. Got you. Right. Got you. So even though I may really love, you know, all the colors that are on that fabric. Yeah. I still have to be mindful that when I put it on the wall, mm-hmm. it doesn't become overpowering. Yes. But it works with the furnishing that I have in right. the space. Because really, in reality, walls are wonderful and they should be and, and it's one of the easiest ways to change the look of a room. Yes. Paint. Yes. And it's also reasonably it's reasonably priced. It, it's yes, economical it's, yes, to economical. make that change. Economical. But what you want to do is um, not have the color mm-hmm. make the room uncomfortable. 
exactly but you know it, it's interesting that i think we take color for granted mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and somebody says if you want to know the colors that you really like open your closet yes that's usually a good guide how, how does that guide us though because whatever when you open your you're going to be drawn to clothing that have the character colors that you love yes and so when you go in your closet you're going to see if you are a yellow person you're going to see you have a lot of yellow yes if you're a blue person you're going to have a lot of blue Mm -hmm. or if you're just a colorful person you're going to have a lot of colors Mm -hmm. so you can pick a dress in there or a tie or a shirt or something and use that as your starting point because once you you have that you can come to Sharon Williams yes. and have a color um, your your computer can actually capture so, a color and mix a paint Faye, you know they look at this chart for instance oh yeah and they and they're like oh my goodness which one of those should I use yes and sometimes they're saying how do I know that when I get this color and put it on my wall it's going to look the same because in actual fact doesn't it depend on the size of the wall? And it depends on the size of the wall, but more so on the amount of light in the room. Ah. So you need to see, look at your room, how much light is yes. coming in, natural light. Yes. So it depends on the size of your windows and the location of the windows and so on. And if you have a dark room, you go for a light of shade light on of the shade. card. Because by the time you put it on the wall, it's going to look a little darker. Yes. Right. So you can get away with darker shades Mm -hmm. in brighter rooms. Right. Um, But I find, I usually recommend, like I said, the muted shades of colors, either the lighter shades or the muted shades. That's because it works with so much things, right? Yes. And it creates calmer rooms. Oh, my God. It makes your room much more relaxed. Yes. If you have an exercise room and you want, or even a family room and you want excitement in there, you could add brighter colors. But especially for bedrooms, go for softer colors. Mm -hmm. And if you really love strong colors, do accessories. Put a few strong colors on the bed with cushions or a throw. So you're saying this could be an accessory? Yeah, that could be an accessory. Right, right, right. And don't work with too many colors. Choose, for example, this has quite a bit of colors, but it's it's nice on a cushion. Yes. But you don't want to be then trying to replicate (laughs) this all over the room. Putting all of this in Uh, in, 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 in one room. And then you have some persons who love red and the entire room is red. Uh, I think... You should still go for what you like, but you have to avoid that because you need to have a space that is relaxing. So in design, I emphasize relaxation, comfort. Okay, so the choice of paint colors can make a big difference in how comfortable and relaxing our homes are. So here are a few takeaways. Avoid using colors which are hard on the eyes. Go for more muted shades instead. When using drapey or upholstery fabric with several colors, select a color which is not dominant in the fabric for the walls, as this will help to make the room appear calmer. Use softer or deeper shades in bedrooms to encourage relaxation. Use brighter colors in accessories if you wish. Thanks for watching. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, walk good.